Great. Well, as I think um, Christine mentioned, we're trying to talk to different members and just get some more interesting content, learn more about your process and your work. And one of the things that we had talked about, especially after seeing your piece in Customs House, um, Secret Keeper, and then looking at some of the other ones, um, you're so versatile across <laughs> people you. and animals and still life. But what we noticed particularly with the, the people and the women in particular, there's this treatment of the light and almost a Madonna-like feeling in some of them. So that was the first thing we would love to hear a little bit about. Well, the first piece, and Christine had mentioned uh, Rahab, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what kicked off this whole <laughs> this whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, this was right as the pandemic was getting started, and I was contacted by a previous client collector, mm -hmm. and he was writing a book and doing some teachings on women of the Bible. So he decided that he wanted a painting done of Rahab, and he did have a couple of parameters that I had to work within. Um, but just briefly, if someone isn't familiar with that biblical story, Rahab was known as Rahab the harlot. She was an innkeeper, and uh, when the spies came, when Joshua sent the spies into Jericho, um, and she, they found out that the king had sent men after them, she hid them, and then later they left, they exited out the window, which was part of the, the town wall, and for doing that, she asked to be spared that her and her family would be spared. So she was supposed to put a red cord out the window. And indeed she was spared. Um, as the story goes on, she did become part of the people of Israel. And later in the Bible, she is recorded in the, uh, in the gene genealogy, in the lineage of Jesus. So she became very important. So, you know, if I first... didn't know that whole story. Oh my well, goodness, there you go. that's interesting. Okay, I just learned a little more. Yeah, so, you know, as you, um, you know, so I, I was trying to put this together when you first look at the like Rahab the harlot with a Madonna-esque <laughs> halo. Right. <laughs> so, um, so what the, the client's parameters were, was that he wanted it 24 by 24, so it's a little bit larger for a, a portrait. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted the Madonna-esque halo, and he also wanted 23 karat gold. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> wow. I had never worked with gold leaf, metal leaf, anything. So I did quite a bit of research. And, you know, fortunately, it was that little quiet time. We were all home. Uh, yes. <laughs> but um, so I did quite a bit of research. And I started with metal leaf because it's much cheaper. Mm -hmm. and I did some practice with that first and did a little sample piece. Uh, and then I did go ahead and use the... Um, 23 karat gold. Now, when I, there's some symbolism in this particular piece too, because of course I've said the red cord. So there's red mm -hmm. for that red, you know, cord out the window, the background, I kept that. Plus, even we think of her profession, sometimes we think right. of color red. Right. Right. The red light, right? <laughs> right. right. And, um, and also there is these horizontal lines that are kind of blue, bluish coming across mm -hmm. the paint. And that was kind of symbolic of the window too, because the window was the men's okay. tape, the window was where she hung the cord. So just putting that all together. Now in the background, on top of the gold, you know, when you think of 23 karat gold, you think of it being very bright and you know, shiny. I've used it on something else and it is very bright and shiny. <laughs> but I decided to put glazes of color over it. I didn't want, I didn't want that, that circle to be so overpowering that we got away from her expression. We got away from who she was. And uh, so I just glazed color and I took some tools, which I actually have right here. Um, just these little wipeout tools. I don't know where the camera is on this. I can see it beautifully. <laughs> Thank about, you. you know, That's great. Hobby Lobby kind of thing. <laughs> I found them because I was trying to do some wipeout with other tools, but I found those. And I just, it's very free form, very loose. You know, it, I see some of these beautiful uh, halos that people do with gold leaf and they're very tightly rendered and sharp and that. So this is, this is just how I conceived it. And I did conceive this all through um, Photoshop. I did, you know, once I was starting to build like, what do I want this to look like? And I would build layers and mm -hmm. do these kind of different things. So it, sort of had that look, but then when you go from the computer 
to canvas, it's, it can be kind of tricky, but I was pleased then with how it turned out. The other thing was that he gave me a picture of a model that was a little black and white, closely cropped picture with a model with real short hair. And this was the look, this is what he wanted. So I had, I painted from that, changed her features so she wouldn't look, um, you know, I didn't want to look like, I don't know where this picture came from. So I didn't want any copyright infringement. <laughs> Right. <laughs> gave her hair, added color, which, you know, thankfully over the years of doing portraits, I was able to colorize her face. <laughs> um, but that's, right. that's kind of what happened there, you know, with all of that. Um, well, the result is beautiful. And that backstory oh, wow. makes it even so much more interesting. So thank you for that. <laughs> it really does. How, how did the second one come about? Okay, so Secret Keeper. Uh, now that was from a photo shoot. That's my daughter is the model. Oh, and I knew yes. that. Yes, I did. <laughs> and it was from lovely. a photo shoot done quite a few years ago. I did a painting called uh, Widow's Might. Mm -hmm. And she posed for that. And there were just so many good pictures from there, good reference uh, images. And I had always wanted to paint this. I've, you know, on the side, I've done little quick studies of that particular image. Um, but I just decided that I would, I would paint it. And I was kind of caught up in this whole halo and circle <laughs> kind of uh, symbolism, uh, you know, just with the idea of light kind of you know radiating from within or surrounding the person and and I, it just went very well with with her uh with the look on her face you know with the um the whole look so i did it in a little bit different color scheme than i typically do it work in it's sort of a purple yellow palette that i used for that but i was going to use the gold leaf again and i didn't for a couple reasons um i wanted to see what i could do to create that same feeling with paint as opposed to using oh. gold leaf. And also um, I had in my mind that I wanted to enter into a couple of different, you know, I wasn't sure where I wanted to enter it, but some of the organizations have restrictions on the amount, the percentage of gold leaf you can have. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Now, AWA does that. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> so You've got all leaf. that good knowledge now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So don't go crazy with gold leaf if you're going to some other place. You know? Right. Uh, and, and it did get into the NOAP show, which that I noticed did. that. Yeah, I noticed. Yes. <laughs> she's lovely. So well, she's um, just she's just gorgeous. It's, oh, it's another piece I, I that agree. just really jumps out from the show. Oh, well, thank you. I, I would venture I, the word divine. Yes, I think oh, she yes. is quite lovely. Yes. yes. Uh, on every level, as as uh, all of us have just thought that your your portraiture and your fi uh, figurative work in particular is, is very sublime and uh, so much so that I don't know if you know or not Cynthia but once a year there is a very select group of people that comes together and very carefully reviews uh, all of our signature members and people that they believe have stood out and um, are making their mark and um, represent uh, a level of quality that um, we think is is not touched by the rest. And um, this particular group this year met and uh, very painstakingly reviewed all of eligible signature members and uh, unanimously decided that uh, two were worthy of a new title. And you are one of those artists that we would like to uh, really happily uh, tell you that you have been elected a master signature member this year. And this is why we have invited you to this Zoom meeting to surprise you and shock you, hopefully. <laughs> and know that um, they were all so, the, uh, the <laughs> so impressed. Sorry for and, the, sorry for the white uh, line. The <laughs> So, oh, you girls have blessed me so much. Well, you you have blessed oh, us. And it oh was, if, if you could have heard the resounding uh, yes, yes, and 100% yes, a perfect 10 we heard, um, one of my favorites I heard, uh, without a doubt I heard, and oh so there were, um, it was Sandra, our executive director, myself <laughs> as an oil painter, uh, Sally Maxwell, who is a scratchboard uh, master, and uh, Angela Mia de la Vega, a sculptress. So across the board, uh, we believe the cream rises to the top. And this year, you are part of the cream, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. 
<laughs> so I hope we shocked you. <laughs> Uh, we will you. use that content about your work because it's brilliant. Absolutely. But, but. <laughs> it wasn't all for <laughs> you, know? uh, you knew I was smitten with you them the minute I saw them because I just could not believe it and had to call you the minute I saw them and said, what are these? <laughs> so uh, congratulations. Con congratulations. Uh, I'm so, we I feel so very honored. Thank you so much. It's a fabulous organization and all of you women just do a outstanding job, just above and beyond the call of duty. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome <laughs> to the land of the elite, Carol. We are proud to have you. We know you will be a, a wonderful ambassador for our mission yes. of quality and excellence. We're proud of you. Thank you. Thank it's you. still technically a secret today. Um, okay. And so um, we will um, let the board know and then it can be public. Um, so if you can keep it secret just for oh. another day or so. Yes. <laughs> It'd be queen we'll of your you own know. household, but don't post it yes. anywhere. Please don't okay. post it yet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Great. so much. Well, congratulations again. And thank you for joining us on short notice. And um, we're really happy to have you join the ranks of Master Signature. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>